Hi guys again. Um, by the way, if nobody knows, my name is Dewanda and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about rhinestones and how I store my rhinestones. And you know, um, and I also have like a little haul I want to share with y'all. It includes rhinestones, charms, or whatever. And what I store them in is this craft mate that I actually bought from Michaels. And I usually, these are actually $20 and I always get like a 40 or 50% discount coupon code. So I'm going to be getting more of these. And you see I label it with charms. And you do can you can buy these little things individually, but it only um, you can only put eight cases in here. So I really don't have the need to just buy these. I like the whole case that I actually um, store on my shelf in my um, beauty bar, my salon. And so I got one for the rhinestones and one for the charms. And I will be getting more because I, I kind of want to get involved with this company that only sell rhinestones. It's business only. So you have to own a business to get an account with them. And they really have the genuine Swarovski rhinestones. I got a package from them. And it's Rhinestones Unlimited. And they're out of, I think, Miami. And so um, I just bought um, two sets of rhinestones. I want to see the quality of the rhinestone. And I also bought a call for them. But this is the name of the company. When you order from them. And this is the 2018. So it's up to date. And um, it just gives you. They got the card here. And it tells you the types of. The types of rhinestones that they offer, the Sarasti crystals, which, oh, they are adorable. The Lux Australia crystals, it's still adorable. The Persona, uh, is it Personia? Uh, I'm reading upside down. Personia crystal, it is still pretty, and they got the Priceless crystals, which is the, uh, it's more like a plastic crystal, but it is still gorgeous crystal, so you're going to pay a little less for that, I mean, less than that, a little more, a little more, a little more, and you do not have to always get Sarasis crystals, y'all, they also make other brands that just keeps their shine and everything, this is, it looks Australia, it looks really nice, don't it, um, so they included that in here with the card, and also it gives you all the different colors on what they offer. It's nothing like seeing it in person. It's on paper, you know. It's just, you know. So that's what I'm saying. I'm just flipping through this. And they also have these. Oh, they are beautiful. But I find that on their website, these like this are very big, very huge. And the, the, the most that, the highest I think that you can go pretty much on a nail to a long nail is like a, between a 8 milliliter on down. Anything larger than an 8 millimeter, that is, that's pretty big on the nail, so. But these right here, they are pretty much big. An 8 millimeter to me is still kind of big. It's the width I'm talking about, not the length. It's the width of a rhinestone. The length really doesn't matter. Okay, um, they have the also the the gel pickers. Now I looked on a website. I didn't see these. Um, I did. I seen the katana, but I didn't see all the different types they had. So I'm gonna have to look on their website again. They sell glues also, and they sell other stuff for clothing, rhinestones for clothing and stuff like that. And so, but I'm basically just. Um, wanting this for you know for the rhinestones for my nails so you get that um, um, I ordered this card also from them oh this is so gorgeous and it shows you y'all had to pay for this this did not come free and it shows you all the colors that they offer the types of colors that they offer let's see where I'm at okay this is the color coated color which is the AB the AB colors 
they are beautiful look at that go up beautiful AB now this is a Roski the pure Swarovski chart. I didn't order the chart from the other other types because all colors are basically the same. I really want this for as a, as a color reference and the style of a crystal. Look at that. I mean, let me see. Crystal, crystal, what is it? Yeah, what name is it? Okay, these are the color ones I just showed you. Then they have the crystal coated colors and we are familiar with the crystal AB which a lot of people get that one and it just gives you all the names and the colors of all the rhinestones for you to pick and see what you want they also have the metallic skulls and stuff like that now for this company I basically want to order on this category and this category down here you basically can find the Swarovskis at the top of here. It's going to be the standard colors. Let me see if I can fold this a little bit because it's kind of long for my camera. I probably need to zoom out a little bit. But the standard colors, um, like the crystals and stuff, you can actually buy that anyway, anywhere. Um, and all the standard colors, you basically... Ooh, that is a pretty um, ivory cream lacquer. i never seen that one before. These are the standard colors and... You basically can find these colors anywhere too, locally. But when it comes down to all these different types of colors like this, the color-coded colors, ABs, it's hard to find these, and that is why I really wanted this card. So I, that's all the art, art ends here. I don't pretty much need too many standard colors because I don't use them as much. But to really bling out a nail, I like to use these, the, the, um, the color-coded colors and the crystal AB-coded colors. This was a pretty penny. This chart was 30 bucks, and I sure did buy it. It is beautiful. Really beautiful. And I really want to see this, too, because if you know, if you run out of colors, you can basically look at the chart and say, oh, I need this or I need that. This is, this is pretty. This is, and this is the up-to-date 2000. Let's see if I can focus this card again. Sorry for moving around. This is up-to-date. This is the, the, the card 2017 card. Okay. Now on the back of this card, it also show you all the different sizes you actually can get, and this is the actual sizes in milliliters, millimeters. So it actually shows you the sizes and how small they are. Um, they don't have too many three SS on their sites, but they do have some, but not in all colors. They probably have it in the crystal crystal clear color and it goes all the way up to 48 now me personally <laughs> I like all sizes I really do it that once you pass 30 this they just too big once um, you know 30 you can do you can get away with a long nail before as this chart wise I love getting um, the threes the fives sometimes I get eights Sometimes I get 8, sometimes I get 9, sometimes I get 10. It depends on what they have. And um, I pretty much have every size in my collection. But the majority of them is probably 5, 10, 12, 16s, and 20s. And that's basically what I do with size resins. But I don't mind getting all sizes, you know, if you can afford it. Splurge. So, yeah, that's the chart. And also from them, I just wanted to, you know, get some little 5 SS I think I got. Now, they do buy gross or they do buy 10 gross or 1 gross. You can get how many grosses you want. And I, I say they are pretty reasonable. Like, 1 gross is like 144. 10 grosses on up. It's, that's how it goes. So, 1 gross will get you 144 pieces. And then you can do the math from that. 10 gross is like, you know, 1,044 pieces. A uh, 1,440 pieces. So I bought the um, Swarovski's Flatback Crystal 5 SS and I bought the 5 ABs. So let's take a look and see how pretty these rhinestones are. And I just bought a 1 gross, meaning that it's just 144 pieces. And I think they were like $3 for 144 pieces. So you do the math. There's so many grosses that you want, that's how much it is. And then you get a percentage off when you order more than how, 
two or three or four, you get less, you get discounted because you're getting more bulk of it. I, I think that's how it works. But anyway, it comes in this nice, nice little package, one gram, and it's just 144, and it's just five SS's. Oh, these are beautiful. And I bought this to Crystal Clear because I was running low on those. I was pretty much running low, and then I wound up going into my nail hole store and then got some more. And uh, I'm going to look at these and look at the whole store ones and see how what's the difference in them. Now, this is $104, and I paid $3 for it. $3 for $144, and you might say, that's kind of expensive. But once you start adding up the groceries, that's how you save your money. The more in bulk you buy, the less this will be. But I just wanted to order something from them and see how comparison it is to these rhinestones in my local store. But my local store don't have all those colors like this place does. So that's why I wanted it. For instance, my local store has these SS3s and they were $5 and you got $144. But let me take them out. Let's see how clear they look compared... Oh, I didn't waste them all out the holes. They got holes all in this bag. Oh my god! Now they are very. Now I use these just really these when I have too many little small spaces that I can't fit a five SS in. And they are they are nice shimmer on these. They are nice shimmer, but you can tell the Swarovskis are a little bit more shimmer to it. But they so small they kind of dark. But I have some S five fives. I mean, some 5 SS's in my um, thing that I'm going to compare them to. But these are the 3 SS's, and I paid $5 in my local store for a 1000 of for them. You know, 1400 And that's not bad. My local store is pretty good when it comes down to rhinestones. Now i got to pick up all those little baby rhinestones. But I'm sure going to do it. <laughs> okay. I wonder why they got holes right down. You know, I'm going to have to cut that off so they won't, when I get ready to pour, they won't be pouring. Why would they, I guess they can hang it up on their shelf. But yeah, that's not bad for 3SS for $5. And they are Swarovski's too, and they got a nice shine on them. Now, to do these, it's very hard to ha do these, apply the 3SS without getting glue or gel on top of the little small ones. That's the only bad thing about it. But it's only like a filling, so it really doesn't matter if it covers those up. I just don't want to see the space. Else I bought rhinestones, those two right there. I bought um, these. Now, this is the new way they're doing Swarovski's. I don't know if it's the cheaper way or whatever. It doesn't have the silver backing. I know y'all probably have seen these already where they have the gray backing on there. And I asked the, the uh, man at the place, like, why is they putting the plastic behind them like it's a hot glue uh, thing? He said, no, they put, the, they put it on there so it can shine more. So, um, I'm not sure if they're going to, to me, if they want to shine more, they must not be Swarovski's, right? But... They are gorgeous, I tell you. This is a 10. And this actually is like an AB green. If I compare that on the chart, if I can find that color on this chart, that's like a Montana. See, if it looks on here, and then I can see, because they're not going to tell you the colors on this. When you buy this wholesale at your supply place, they're not going to really tell you what color it is on there because you're buying in bulk. And like I said, this was $14 for uh, $1,400. So that is that. And it's like a purple. Oh, it's very pretty. And this is the color-coded one. You can tell. I don't know what. See, and I would just try to find it close on my chart. And, and then if I want to label it, I can label it the color it looks like emerald AB looks like that one right here emerald AB so that's tens then I bought some twenties oh these are gorgeous too they're color coded
And um, these were $24, 1400 That's still not bad at all. I bought some uh, SS10s. Some SS5s too, even though I bought some SS5s from that company. Look at the shine on these. They are shiny. Let me get the the bag from them. Oh my god, they are practically the same. Let me see. I know I'd probably be too close, huh? Oh my goodness, the shine is basically the same, so I guess he knew what he was talking about. Oh, that's pretty. SS fives. And then I bought some SS fives in these colors. And they were nine dollars. Bought some charms. These are very pretty. Look at that. And these guys, I know um, I think this is like a hundred pieces. Uh, I guess this is new on the market, so they were quite expensive for 100 pieces, but I tell you, these were some beauties. For 100 pieces, I paid $20 for these. And I asked him, why are they so expensive? That's Crystal Claire, baby. You know, he was aging. <laughs> Look at that. They are some little square chatons. Oh, they are gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous. And these are like some, oh, they're beauties. And that's a crystal clear effect. They gonna have to pay for them to get that on their nail, honey. He talking about, put two over there and charge them $5 just for two. I'm like, <laughs> you're gonna get your money back, you're gonna get your money back. And these were $22 for... These are very pretty too. Look at that. That is pretty. And these are also some chatons too. They had some other ones. I'm um I'm I'm saying like I oh no, I got to make this back up before I buy some more. Because $20 is a lot of money for some rhinestones for only a hundred. Okay. So now you know how I store my rhinestones. I store them in the craft mate. And like I said, you can buy those from Michaels. And that is basically my collection. These right here I just showed you. And this is I'm gonna show you my collection. That's some chatons right here. Then the next row is some um, pearls, different color pearls, these right here, different shapes, some square ones, they are so pretty, these are pretty, different color, that, these are some chatons, I hauled these a long time ago to put in my, um, put in my pixie does my pixie uh, Swarovski pixie I made okay then I have pearls here starting from the round ones to the big ones to the little those uh, teardrops and some smaller pearls and if the bag come up with a label when I buy them I just stick them on here and rhinestones here these are the Apex opals and I got a mix of all sizes I don't separate the sizes and I did a haul on these too. My collection is not that big. I've seen bigger. And this is all my crystals. I keep them all in a row. Now I do separate these because for the simple fact I use these the most. So I don't have them all bundled up together. And then on the second row is my ABs. I need to replace. I really don't need the 48s. But it's got some 48s, 48s in there. I don't really don't use that. It's, I have used that on very long nails. I have an empty spot there. These are my AB crystals right here. Then all my colors right here. I, I don't separate the colors. I don't use colors that much. I got some metallic golds and some metallic mixed. 
I don't separate those either. Then it's uh, some gold here, greens, blues, reds and oranges, grays and blacks. And these are some like some AB something size 10. Very odd color. I have to find something to put, put these in there now. I'm going to have to get another one of these little craft mates. Might just get one more because I know there is a lot that goes in here. And my charms. I just show y'all how my little, sorry for hitting the camera. My charms. The different size storm storms. I got them all mixed up. All my bows, I put, uh, I got two sets of containers for bows. I have a lot of bows. Chains. Then I have the little circle medals. These are pretty. Stars. On the other side. Start right here. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully the glare. That glare is wicked. There's some color metals. Most of all these are my metals on one side. I do separate the metals. When you're in this industry, you got to basically have almost everything, I tell you. Alright guys, that is how I store my Swarovskis and my charms and just want to show you that little haul I have for the rhinestones alright guys these are just beautiful I really like these I don't have nothing like them alright guys until next time y'all have a smiley day bye